Welcome back to Mexico. Welcome back to Nalai. It's the second semi-final of the 2014 Centro Basket Championships. Puerto Rico already booked their place in the final. And now Cuba with this roster and Mexico will battle it out to see which team will join Puerto Rico in the 2014 final. Mexican team just being introduced to the crowd and then we will have the national anthems of both teams this Mexican roster is deep contributions across it and has a real good feel about it for coach Sergio Valdeamilos so we'll now have the national anthems of both countries and we'll be back to talk about how this game could be won after those. As you can see, the gym here in Tebich has filled up. There's not a spare seat in the house. The crowds here have come out again to see Mexico play. Mexico trying to win this Centro Basket competition for the first time since 1975. 39 years since Mexico have been successful in this competition and the year after they won the Fever Americas Championships they're just two games away from another piece of silverware Cuba themselves dominant in the 1990s two golds and two silvers in this competition now on the way back up, the uh, tree in FIBA America's basketball, this group of talented players that some might think have overachieved to make this stage of the competition. But as the Dominican Republic will testify, there's no fluke in how they played yesterday in their four point loss in the last group game. Their only loss so far in the competition 
when they lost to the Dominican Republic. For Mexico, Gutierrez had a marvellous game yesterday, 24 points personal, five assists. And Gustavo Aon, who is the spiritual leader of this Mexican team, 18 points, six boards, as they overcame Puerto Rico in a come from behind win. William Granda led scorers for Cuba. Well supported by Giselle Rivero. The issue yesterday for Cuba was 32 turnovers. Now their defense was good, they did force 29 turnovers. Caption just confirms what we've been telling you so far during the coverage. The top four teams here qualify for the 2015 FIBA Americas. Here are the three officials for this evening's game from Argentina and El Salvador. But going back to Cuba, their Achilles heel was the number of turnovers yesterday, 32. And at times, Mexico, because of their depth, can put some defense on the floor. So Cuba have to take care of the basketball, have to get shots as often as they can on possession, give themselves a chance to upset the odds to beat the hometown, the home team, Mexico. Here's the starting lineup. And Olivar can play. He's just got to be consistent throughout the whole game. William Glander had a nice game yesterday. But this team has to take collective responsibility for the ball. Often caught standing still against pressure. And that's something that Mexico will exploit. There's the head coach for Cuba, Daniel Scott. Here's the starting lineup for Mexico. Hector Hernandez and Aaron on the inside. They're not the biggest inside combo, but they get it done. Pedro Miza has, leads this team in so many ways. Sergio Valdio Milos, who claimed the FIBA Americas Championship last year. is held in high regard by these Mexican fans. So if Cuba can take care of the basketball, they have a chance to upset Mexico here. If they do not take care of the basketball, Mexico will score in transition and score off those turnovers. part also this for Mexico's preparation for the FIBA World Cup that starts at the end of August in Spain and Mexico as the champions of the FIBA Americas will go to Spain full of expectation and hope to the best the biggest basketball tournament in the world
So, moments away, second semi-final, 2014 Centro Basket, here in Mexico, here in the Tepichalina. Mexico in the white uniform, Cuba in the blue. And it will be Mexico with the first possession. The Misa will call the play. Well, the first little hook is no good. Valdez moves it on. Oh, first possession, first turnover for Cuba. They get caught sleeping. And the automatic transition for uh, Mexico is worrying. Cuba have got to just concentrate. They come up empty, but the signs are good. Vanda moves it on. And Luis Yohan. And an easy two to start with for uh, Jesse Oliveiro. Staying with that offensive rebound, can't collect, and neither team looks very comfortable. Cuba turning over again. Must take care of the basketball. Mexico in the half court. Minute and a half in, no score. Uh, when they need points, they go to this man, Gustavo Aon. Nothing fancy, just a great first step to the hoop. But already, the turnover prone Cubans have two. Four pass, get another turnover. We're going to get a travel cord on that penetration. Strong move to the baseline. They got a lot out of that spot yesterday. Yeah, Luis gets the first two for himself for the game. Aon squares up, faces, gets contact, count the two. Aon's only really shot uh, around 60% across this tournament from the line. He's normally a better three throw shooter than those numbers would suggest. But he doesn't make the first. Offensive rebound. Uh, Mexico get a new 24. Nice pass to the inside. Short little push is good. And Martinez picks up the points. And Mexico take the lead. Strong move, far side of the ring, doesn't get the drop. Aon comes down with it, looks to push. Mexico in transition. 
Who's goes up, gets the two, coast to coast, move. And Francisco Cruz makes it an 8-4 lead for Mexico. Tough two is off. No rebounders. Ball's knocked away. Torres will check in for Cuba. Three and a half minutes in to this second semi-final. Puerto Rico wait the winners after they beat the Dominican Republic in the other semi. Great move. Aon just had too many options, too many counters. Footwork was excellent. Great two. He goes to six personal. Keeps it ticking over for Mexico on the penetration. And Oliver's got to find a way to get some points production. Penetrates, close past the defense, draws contact. Bodies on the floor. Hope everyone picks themselves up from that. Aon just picks up. Oliver. Quick move. Messi got caught. Could have been dangerous. Fortunately, no damage done to anybody. More substitutions coming in both ways. To see how Rivero comes back for Cuba. Can't control it on the way out. Quick release. Great recovery. Oliver just showed some pace to recover there. Wraps it on the inside. Tough finish by Aon. Doesn't like the contact, but will like the points. Ball's knocked away. Yet another turnover. Turnover's killing Cuba. Aon goes down the middle, gets fouled. He'll go to the free throw line. Picks himself up. back on the three throw line it's not been a great tournament for him from here well out finally gets one to uh, to drop Nine point lead early here for Mexico. Cuba got to take care of the ball. Can't let this get out to, to too much, uh, too wide a margin. Sort of a mishandle recovered and Aeon's in. He was a 24 second violation. And Cuba struggled offensively and then they go to sleep. Aeon on the trail, tries to scoop it, can't get it to drop, recovered. Wide open in the corner, fires the three, is off. Aeon gets the offensive ball, goes straight back up for two. And 
Cuba are going to have to call a timeout here. Otherwise, this game will be gone by the end of the first quarter. 11-point lead. Ball knocked away again. Too many dribbles. back out on the floor for the start of this second period and turnovers are just such a big factor after that Cuban timeout he's, they've got to take care of the ball already eight turnovers in this in the first six and a half minutes of this game three and a half to go in the first D3 from Oliver he just knocks it down for fun the guy can play, the guy can score, he just needs opportunity. Step through at the other end, doesn't get the drop. Decent uh, effort defensively on that occasion. Oliveira in transition. Wants to be aggressive. Attacks the closeout. Wide open look, open three is gone, is off. Aon comes down with a rebound, needs to look. Great pass. Well, it was a decent pass. It's just the runner stopped running. Cuba in the half court. Tough shot. Oliver's decided this is his time. Aon will look to reverse the ball. Tough move. Great little floater on the end of it. As Cruz just puts it skyward. Soft touch. Picks up his fourth point. Oh, beautiful spin to the baseline, but uh, didn't create the angle. And Aon just picked his pocket. Short jump shot is good. Points in transition for Mexico. And another turnover for Cuba. Substitutions coming in as uh, Alfonso Rodriguez joins the game with 1.40 to go in the first period. A 12-point lead for Mexico. Thank you. 
Well, there's the contact, there's the foul, there's no real debate. End line possession. Aon relieves the pressure. Cruz. Gutierrez back in the game or in the game for the first time. Great pass. Aon looks for an angle, can't find one. Nice movement. And they get it because they moved off the ball. Martinez with the two. Uh, we've got a holding foul as Justice went to the far side of the ring, didn't get the drop. Ferrada picks up the foul. Off the glass for two is no good. Battle on the glass. Who's coming down with that? Cuba do. They need those effort plays. Just about recovering. Rodriguez gets it back. Ten on the shot clock. Goes down low. Last 10 seconds of what's been a very, very impressive Mexico performance. 25 to 12, they have the lead. Gutierrez has it, fumbles, can't get it away, and they'll do it for the first quarter. Quarter that sees Mexico in a strong position as they try and make the final.
JJ leaves the flop to much applause. Start of the second quarter. Cuba got to take care of the basketball. Then they can start eating into this lead, but they cannot give Mexico the easy looks. Tough move is no good. The Mexican defense, arguably the strongest defensive team in this competition. Gutierrez, great pass. Beautiful little pick and roll action. Gutierrez with assist, Parada with the big time dunk. work on the glass for two and that's just the way to do it through sheer effort use this picks up the points well oh, hits nothing on the end of the break chance here for Mexico two on two well oh, a little showtime pass that no one saw coming Gutierrez turns it over Paul Stoll also in the game for Mexico. Martinez goes to the inside, left hand doesn't get the drop. Defensive rebound is hauled in. Play. Movement again away from the ball was good. Rivero gets the two. And Rodriguez with the assist. It's got to match up with cuts in this zone. They can't just let people cut ahead of them. Count those. Did really well to stay with the plate. He just is. will get Mexico into the half court. In the half court, Cuba just got to spend time with the ball. Scoring here will get him into single digits. Almost another turnover. Recovery though. Now we've got a whistle as uh, Valdez tried to make the most of the way he has saved possession.
Valdez makes it a nine point game with 6.40 to go in the half. And after the bombardment that they were forced to endure in that first period, Cuba getting a foothold in the game now. Good work on the glass by just this again. As a reaching foul. As Rivero tried to get back in the plate. had nowhere to go but uh, proceeded to try and go there ultimately gets the turnover relentless pressure from Mexico just no let up Hernandez moves on to seven with those. Cuba just need to get this into single digits, get a foothold and maintain that. Turn around, jump shot, hits nothing. Chance to run for Mexico and when they run, they all run. Stroke from deep. And he's like a bus wait for ages then they come along in bunches 10 points personal for Hernandez and when Cuba were looking at trying to get this into single digits Hernandez just closed that door and Cuba still settling for the under pressure jump shots and Mexico dominant get the two on the break and Aon's at it again 16 points is the margin still 450 to go in the half
Offensive rebound again, and every aspect of the game, they're on the floor, they're everywhere. This Mexican team on a mission. 1975, the last time Mexico won this Centro basket. They want to get to the final, give themselves a chance, and they would have no greater pleasure than knocking over Puerto Rico in that final. Olivar lets the three go, rims in and out, doesn't get the drop. Aon comes down with a chance to run. Three on two break. Don't get the finish, but they do retain possession. Cuba on the wrong end of an 18 point game here. Four to go in the first half turn around jump shot is no good Oliva gets some more to to his personal tally, 16 point game, 320 in the first half remaining. And he'll push on the floor, goes that second step, we're gonna get a blocking foul. move it good spacing and they get the ball screen back to the middle pick and roll Aon goes up gets a block chased down by over has a chance to push in transition and there'll be a blocking foul mid-range jump shot is no good just can't buy one at the moment Oliver has it again looks inside goes to the inside whistle on the play jump shot back of the ring chance for a defensive rebound and Cuba can't panic they've just got to try and work their way back into this move to the middle and count that out one and Oliver six points personal one to come
pick and roll again. There's a late move. That's a blocking foul. It's A on one down the middle. Prada so far in his tournaments around 90% from the free throw line, so it's a slight shock that he missed that one. trying to work their way back in they've got it back to 12 113 to go in the half there's a little bit of limping going on out there And, uh, sorry, Luis on the free throw line. Gets the friendly home ring roll. Chance to cut it to 10. on the end line. Odenvark has it, needs to pass. He gets fills the double team. Finds the open man, lines up the three, is off. Defensive rebound is hauled in. Chance to run, but it gives it straight back. Penetration to the kick for the three is good. Exactly what they need. Getting right back in this now.
Kyo trying to work their way back into this. Whistle away from the ball. Valdez picks up his first personal. Just got to keep hanging in there. The high arcing shot is no good. Defensive rebound is owned by Cuba. They get it into the half court. Tough fadeaway jump shot is short. Poor decision really, but uh, you've got to give him that sort of green light. Always uh, a bit of a problem when you start as well as Mexico did, built the big lead, and now Cuba have just worked their way back into this game. They trail by eight. Luisa gets Mexico into the half court. Great first step on the baseline for two. And when you need to re-establish a little bit of control, get A on the ball, he'll control it. He goes to 19 personal. Gets a great angle, protects the ball with his body. Ten point lead. Ovar needs a pass, finds one. They offer the three. Torres takes it, way short. Defensive rebound, Misa has a look. Bodies down the floor. And again with that baseline step, beautiful execution. Mexico get the ball baseline to baseline. Aon gets it, goes up, draws contact, will go to the free throw line. Luis checks back in. Well, one man who wants to give Mexico the chance to lift this Centro basket title is Gustavo Aon. 20 points personal. Still 18 minutes to go in the game. Luis will control it. And Oliver has it. Ten on the shot clock. Need to get this one away to go high, low hands. And we've got a foul on the way up. That's a great effort to get back, but uh, Hernandez came up with a steal. He'll go to the free throw line. And Mexico beginning to reestablish the control they had. Open it out, 12 point game. The inside combination of Hernandez and Aon have just been dominant. Over 30, 33 points of Mexico's 49. Pass to the mid-range jump shot is off. Defensive rebound. Aon gets another positive stat. It lines it up. The three is gone. Cruz just knocks it down for him deep. Jesco Cruz strokes it. And all of a sudden, from eight, it's out to 16. Nine points personal for Cruz. And that's standing on the sideline. Valdez. Hey. 
Well, Cruz blows the short uh, little floater. That's going to be retained by Cuba. Moot to the middle, goes to the hook, hands, knocks it away. Aon's doing everything. Gets a piece of that on the drive. It's a tough move to the hook. Beautiful execution. Torres gets the two and stops that little run that Mexico had put together. It's about stops, though. And then there's moves it on. Cruz spins to the baseline, creates a little space, finds the open man for three. Is short defensive rebound. And Cuba will just not go away. Oliver will get it into the half court. Cuba look deep to the post, and there's a reaching foul. Well, now brings it, repositions on the screen. Cruz can't break it down. Three's gone. He is way off. Defensive rebound is Luis's. He gives it. Olivar pushes, goes coast to coast, gets the two. Back to 12. Cuba trying to hang in. Trying to spoil a Mexican party here. Tough baseline shot for Hernandez. He has 14 and the leads back out to 14. Substitutions coming in for the off the Cuban bench as William Glanda comes back. They really need his points now, Glander. They need to get him going. And this is the other person who could spark them. Oliver, just... Quick move, quick pass. Great offensive rebound. Can't get the two on the way back up. And Luis comes up empty. Ball movement. Bounce pass to Aon, can't handle it. Granda brings it, going all the way, goes up in traffic, gets blocked from behind. Hernandez leaves him on the floor, just flicking his wounds on that one. Luis steps through, gets the contact. This block from behind, clean as you like. Uh, Rodriguez will check in. Uh, Luis finds himself on the free throw line. When you're in this situation, you have to take every single opportunity you have he's got to step up knock the throws down then they're going to go and get a stop he makes the first now this goes two for two they could get this into single digits going into the fourth quarter would really give them a chance they get the turnover up to two is another foul and they're going to be back on the free throw line 
Torres this time. There's the foul on the arm. He's got to try to finish that. Get to the end one. Extension on the defense. Rodriguez making a work now. Dark or Cruz goes down low. Aon thinks about the handoff, opens out, faces the hoop. Great little comeback. Beautiful execution. Great little comeback by uh, Cruz. Had the mismatch. Great lead pass, Cruz, they're going to count that. And Cuba have got to stop that type of situation. If they're in a hole, they're down 12, and they just get outworked. Cruz just beat people down the floor. If they get back, that option doesn't happen. Really got to play the perfect game for the next 13 minutes, Cuba, to get back in this. It goes up for the two. So many ways to finish around the ring. Granda puts it on the floor, breaks the defense down again. on the three throw line. Just doesn't miss free throws normally. Chance again for Cuba to 15 down. They've just got to eat into it a little bit. They can get to 10. Foul line jump shot is short. Collect on the own rebound though. Blocked out of bounds. Mexico again with more opportunity to lead. Down the middle with a hard flush for Aon. Every time Cuba believe they have a little, a little glimpse of light at the end of the tunnel, he just slams the door shut. Again, he outworks everybody on the Q in a Cuban uniform. Great work on the offensive boards. Goes up for two. And Torres adds to his own total. And they're still hanging around that, you know, the 15 point mark. Neither team can settle for that. Back cut, beautiful pass. Cruz for two. Almost went uh, full court with a pass. Last 50 seconds of this third period. Substitutions coming in now. Marco Lemos joins the action. As does Paul Stuhl.
Uh, whistle before the shot. 17 point game. Points here are stopping points. Keep Cuba in touch. Rodriguez needs both. Very tired looking free throw. Stahl gets it in the half court, recollects. Little slip, beautiful pass. That is just beautiful to watch. Gustavo Leon with a beautiful pass from Stahl. Just slipped down the keyway. Pass is weighted perfectly into his stride. He just throws it down hard. Cube with a chance of the last shot of this period. Three is gone. Count it. Count it. And they stay alive in the game on the back of the three. Oh, there's confirmation. Well, just about to get confirmation. Sixty-six to fifty-one. End of the third. It's a 15 point margin. There's still hope for Cuba here because while you've got Olivar and uh, William Granda not really having his best game of this tour, if he gets going, they can score in a hurry. But the key for them now is. They have to stop Mexico. I don't know if they have it in their legs to create enough opportunity off their defense, but they have to get stops and try and get this into single digits and a manageable number. Here we go then, start of the fourth quarter. Mexico, one quarter away from a final of a central basket. It hasn't happened in a long time. The reigning FIBA Americas champions, a chance to get silverware. Cuba will not go away though, quick two. Right at the beginning of this fourth period by uh, Javier Justiz, cuts it to 13. The margin is not unsurmountable another slip another quick release same same result now has 28 huge points now we've got a foul as Javier Justice went up
Just East can't make the second. Score remains a 15 point margin. Stoll has it in the half court now. The back screen action away from the ball. It's good to watch. They've got a foul. That's not the smartest piece of defense we're likely to see this evening. Just this almost has his pocket picked. Aon just only knows one way to play, which is hard. He has the quality too. There's no letting up for him. 15 point margin. Eight and uh just under nine minutes to go. Mexico can feel, can smell the final. Rodriguez brings it. Fumble recovered by Mestiz, who goes up with a left hand, no good. Great battle on the glass, won by. Stoll in the lane, needs a pass, nowhere to go, but uh, somehow. Mexico retain possession. Dole with a long three is good. And if he hits a couple of those, any light at the end of any tunnel will be extinguished. Mid-range jump shot is away, but hits nothing. Aon comes down with it, recycles it. Chance to lead by 20 for Mexico on this trip. Open from the three-point line is off. Defensive rebound this time is owned by... Uh, Glenda Rodriguez Open look for the corner is off. Offensive rebound is not claimed by Martinez. And it's getting a little messy. Stoll with a bit of a ball handling demo. Scoops it up for two. Gustavo Aon sits down, 28 points.
15 rebounds and four blocks. That's how to step up and lead your team. Six to go. Back to a 16 point game. It's not dead and buried for Cuba, there's plenty of time. Stoll, who looks like he's enjoying himself out here. Backs it out, looks what he has. Attacks it, far side of the ring, scoops it, doesn't get the roll. And we're going to have a reaching foul. As heavy HSDs clear things up on the boards. Penetration. We get a whistle. And uh, Rivero draws the contact. Substitutions coming in off the Tough move on the inside, gets the drop. And Rivero ticks it over again, back to 13. Plenty of time left. Long two from Stoll is good. Nothing but the bottom of the string. Going up, tries to create space, can't do it inside, outside. Stoll against the closeout, goes with a floater, gets the drop. Last four minutes of this semi final. Mexico's 44 points in the paint. Aon is responsible for a significant percentage of those. Soccer, but a football referee wants to now or never for Cuba. 15 down, and I don't know if they have it in the legs. Alley -oop. highlight, get it on the pitcher in the front row. Ramos is in everyone's highlight of the game. Stretches out the lead to 79 to 62. Woo! 
Baseline penetration in traffic. Great work on the glass. The big man again. Just is. Martinez got a little bit complicated with himself there. Too many dribbles, the defense could all adjust. So Cuba take the time out. That probably is the last throw of the dice here. make shots straight away here and get stops I'm not sure how much belief there was as they left as they left that huddle well regardless of whether they actually do come back or not they've already had a great tournament qualifying for FIBA Americas 2015 in Montelay making the semi-final having a chance of a bronze medal that's if they continue to lose this game moves it on stole at the point gets it into the half court There'll be a lot of anticipation about a Mexico Puerto Rico rematch just two days after their very feisty group game. Is 156 long enough for Cuba to claw themselves back into this? Doubtful now. Rodero at the free throw line. trap Stoll finds the pass
So Cuba take another timeout. Absolutely nothing to lose. Give it your best shot. Get a quick one, get a quick shot, then try and get up the floor. Just about to get restarted here. The JJ removes himself. over a minute to go. And Mexico just trying to manage out the game. move it they swing it they get the open look they knock the three down this time it's Marco Lemos who gets the three game set and match I think the phrase is now Cuba may be a little disappointed with some of the performance but they've come up against a hell of a team wide open for three in the corner is good Alonso gets in on the act and all of a sudden it becomes very unfairly a 17 point game. They're going to walk this off. Cuba will contest the bronze medal game. Mexico, on the back of the 85-70 win, will advance to the final. And a chance to become the Central Basket champions for the first time since 1975. The problem for them is they face the most successful team in Central Basket history in Puerto Rico.